Um, the next feature I'm gonna have a look at is the tracker functionality in the capture app. This is another of the big uh, pushes that um, that uh, is um, uh, that we're working on on the tracker team. Um, we have uh, we have been working on on the um, capture app for some releases, and if you look at the capture app in two thirty six. Um, there is uh, some more functionality and some new uh, new functionality that you will see here, and also some changes. One of them is the capture icon, which has been updated now. Um, but this is this is the same app that you uh, were using before. Uh, opening the capture app, you might observe that the uh, program on registering org unit has changed place. Um, that is uh, mostly a um, uh, aesthetic thing. Um, you can still select uh, your uh, org unit and your program in the order that you want. Um, there's also some smaller changes to make the top bar a little bit more compact and to prepare it for uh, more tracker functionality. Right now I selected a case uh, single event program, Malaria Case Registration, and this program has been supported in the, in the um, capture app for a while. Um, what is new is that I can also now, uh, since I am a one user that, um, that uh, has access to both the event and the tracker program, I can switch directly to the tracker program and uh, work with uh, the tracker program in the same way as I did for the event program. So the main value that we think we can deliver uh, and we are, are delivering in 236 uh, is that um, it is now possible for a user that has access to event and tracker program to seamlessly work in both types of programs in the same app. As we see, I switched to the malaria focus investigation, which is the tracker program, and I'm able to, um, to play around with, uh, with the uh, filters. Um, and uh, that was not uh, this month in the same way that I've been um, able to uh, for event programs for a while. Um, I can um, add filters uh, or focus on um, uh, filter on other things um, in the same way that we always have been able to do for uh, single event uh, programs. Uh, we also have three working lists here uh, that uh, you're able to switch between, much like in the old tracker capture app. Um, just as an example, um, the new button up here is now um, working uh, for tracker programs as well. And since I'm currently in the tracker program, I'm given the option here to add the new focus area in the malaria focus investigation. So if I click that, you'll see the uh, registration form that looks very much like the one in uh, the old tracker capture. Um, I am able to switch program directly if I want and instead add the case uh, to Engelehun if I want. I can also switch Organet and switch to Nyandama if that's uh, where I'm working. And um, you can see we have done a little addition at the very bottom of the screen here. Uh, we are um, now giving a hint to the user that might have scrolled out of the, no longer seeing their top menu. It might be useful to know where you're adding and what data, what program you're adding to. Um, it's also possible to just deselect the program here and, um, and add, add a new uh, entity, for example, a person without enrolling into any program. Right now though, I'm gonna add a new focus investigation and I'll add it to Ngelehun. And the name will be added during demo, like so. Now though, you will see that after adding, I'm navigated to the tracker capture app. And this is the old user interface that you might know from before. Um, the reason why you're navigated here is that while this page is uh, we are hard at work building this page in the new uh, capture app. We were not ready to release it by the time 236 was um, was ready, and um, and um, we will release this page in 237. 
Um, the um, user is therefore navigated to this old tracking capture app and you can continue working here um, on the data uh, and then uh, even changing the profile um, change there and then when you click back you're taken back to the uh, tracker capture uh, sorry to the capture app um, and you can continue working where you where you were uh, observe the the first record here is the one that I added. It's called added during demo changed. Um, I will now show um, uh, if I if I click anything in the menu here um, or search, for example, for um, a malaria focus. And I can search by attributes, and the name was at the during something. Um, I can also open the, the record, and when I do, I will be navigated back here. Um, there is a, something that um, I want to mention right here, because um, the reason why I'm navigated back to the, to the capture app is that there is a URL parameter called return URL, which uh, contains um, uh, the URL for where to go back. Um, and this is um, something that was implemented to support this seamless integration here. But uh, this is also something that can be, um, can be um, used by you if you're building your own app um, or making your own workflow somehow. You can navigate into this page. And when you click back here, you can, might go back to your own app, for example. Um, 